We use coins. Dot com. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It isn't an intrusion on the private marketplace. But isn't there a conflict of interest typically between the union members and those and those who run the corporation? That's New Hampshire State Rep. J.R. Hole. Hope I'm saying that right. He's seen here facing down dissenting Ridley questions as gracefully as anyone could. He's also the latest in a long line of liberty-leaning state reps here uh, who've faced heavy criticism in the Huffington Post. Now, I appreciate the Post paying attention to New Hampshire and, and trying to convince the world that our reps are crazy, but I think they did a real disservice to J.R. in their December 2013 article. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get around to defending him. Their inappropriately alarmist headline reads, quote, GOP lawmaker suggests armed rebellion may be necessary if Scott Brown is elected, unquote. Uh, their article, uh, which is partly a video, um, preceded by an unskippable 30-second long commercial uh, our article basically quotes J.R. Hole as saying something different from what the headline indicates. Hole says, quote, The message needs to get out that Scott Brown does not represent New Hampshire. If things continue the way they are, there may be a day or time where firearms and ammo are necessary. Unquote. That's the most inflammatory thing he says in the whole quote, the whole speech or whatever. I guess he was give, giving an interview to the conservative podcast Granite Grok, uh, granitegrok.com. Again, quote, if things continue the way they are, there may be a day or time where firearms and ammo are necessary, unquote. That's not, I mean, he's not even, I mean, the, <laughs> where do I even start? Criminalsforguncontrol.com. Criminalsforguncontrol.com. Firearms and ammo are already necessary. They're not necessary for defending ourselves against the government, particularly, uh, but, they, but they're necessary just for general safety, you know, against crime, you know, helping to keep the crime stats low. So that's not an inflammatory statement at all. I'm, I'm a Gandhi guy, basically, and I can agree with that statement. Even as an opponent of lethal revolution... Secondly, the quote doesn't really even, he's not really saying that firearms w would be necessary as a result of Scott Brown getting elected. He said they would be necessary, quote, if things continue the way they are, unquote. Besides the fact that this is a statement many, many millions of Americans would agree with, it's not really closely connected to Scott Brown. It, it's true that there have been a lot of anti-Scott Brown demonstrations in New Hampshire, and these are focused around gun rights. Supposedly, Scott Brown is not sufficiently pro-gun rights. But again, when you talk about things continuing the way they are, Scott Brown is not really a representative... I mean, he's not precisely a representative of things continuing the way they are. He's, in some ways, been a break from the past for Massachusetts. He's not a, a very good... You know, he's not a liberty person, he's just another Republican, but that was a big change to have just a, a, any Republican in, a, in a, a, a Massachusetts congressional seat. I will have to agree, though, that, that J.R. is sort of, I'm not sure if I'm agreeing, but I would say, I would say he's, he's barking up the wrong tree to some extent. Uh, I, I'm not even sure how much these congressional races in New Hampshire count. Uh, no matter what happens, we seem to get people who vote the same way. They're always just feds. You know, no matter what happens, no matter who we send to Washington, they just become feds who vote pro-fed. It's that way in almost every state with almost every congressional election. And that's the whole genius of the Free State Project. The Free State Project makes an end run around these congressional elections and focuses more on state reps, governors, Speaker of the House at the state level, and these are the these are more important positions. I don't really understand why New Hampshireites get so obsessed with these congressional elections that don't really make any difference. I mean, really, are we? Is it any different having Kelly Ayotte sitting 
in a Senate seat than it was Judd Gregg or Gene Shaheen. I don't even remember which seats go to which people when. And I can't name much of anything that any of them have done different from the others. Contrast that with how how different Craig Benson has been from John Lynch and how different Maggie Hassan has been from John Zanunu Sr. or Mel Thompson. Compare Speaker Norelli to Speaker O'Brien. We're talking drastic differences, uh, you know, the difference between the government growing 10% a year and shrinking 10%, well, I should rephrase that, growing 5% a year and shrinking 5% a year. I will say, though, that the Huffington Post um, got it right in the sense that they, they, ha they have seen smoke near GraniteGrock.com, and there is sort of fire at GraniteGrock.com. They may have been barking up the wrong tree since J.R. Hole didn't really say anything all that controversial, but there have been controversial things that have been said on GraniteGrock.com. I mean, I've heard those guys talk about strangling people. I even thought about mentioning it on the Ridley Report, but it wasn't quite inflammatory enough to justify its own report. Anyway, just some thoughts. Uh, a lot of people talking about Scott Brown and guns. That's what I have to add to the discussion. Bitcoins, the world's first practical internet cash. A nightmare for governments to try and control. Inflation and counterfeit resistant. They return you some control over your money and a new measure of anonymity. A lot cheaper to use than PayPal, you can use them to buy tax-free cigarettes and almost anything else. I accept Bitcoins, so can you. Get started at weusecoins.com.